I've got a real question for you tonight. Are you scared to get down on the floor? Or are you scared to figure out how to get up from the floor? You know, we see a lot of people in the clinic uh, who have that fear, who are really scared about getting um, down onto the floor. So, but if you don't get down on the floor, how are you gonna know how to get up off the floor? Hi, I'm Denise and I'm with White Cedar Clinic where we understand chronic illness. Uh, we understand pain and anxiety and uh, PTSD and fibromyalgia and, and a lot of chronic illnesses, diabetes. And at our clinic, we find holistic solutions that you can apply into your life to live a better life. So how do you start? How do you start getting down onto the floor? I'm gonna, I'd like to share a story uh, of some of our clients. And it's a pretty familiar story. I've heard it more than once, where uh, some people have come in, they have been uh, in so much pain that they haven't been able to move. They've, uh, they've, their life has become smaller and smaller and more insular and they, they, they get to a point where they've got this really big comfy chair and it sits right in front of their, uh, in front of their TV and they don't know what to do to actually move forward. So in fact, what ends up happening is they're not living the life they want to, so they become depressed. And so now we have not only the pain, the chronic pain, but we've got the, um, the depression that comes um, when life's not going quite the way you want it to go. So what happens? How can we change that around? Well, they came to our clinic. They happened to get some medical cannabis. It worked quite well. And then they started very slowly getting out of their chair, starting to move. And they started just by walking around the block. Um, and then they started to walk a little bit further. So when you start the exercise, there's a couple of ways to measure and start to improve. And some of it may be about distance, so getting that block around the block, and then the next uh, week you up it by another half a block uh, or another block. Um, and then you just keep doing that. So you can do that. Um, you can do it by time. So getting out and exercising for 20 minutes, say starting there and then making it 40 minutes and then 60 minutes. Um, and, and just keeping it moderate, not where your heart is like pumping through your chest or you're breaking out in a big sweat, but just getting started. Um, and the other way is if you're doing weights. So um, you can start off with cans in your, in your, from your fridge or from your, from your pantry. You can start off with, uh, um, uh, lots of things that are around the house, lifting a set of books or something like that. These are things that are going to gradually increase your abilities to be able to move. And that's ultimately the goal when it comes to exercise. So getting out there, just getting started and getting it moving. And then getting a point to a point where you're actually what we call doing moderate exercise three times a week, four times a week. And that may be 20 minutes or half an hour, or even say say 40 minutes, 45 minutes of uh, exercise where your heart rate is getting up there, you're getting just getting a little warm, you got that glow starting to happen on your face. That's the kind of thing that is something you wanna do four times a week and it will help improve your immune system. And that's what we've been talking about this week is how to use exercise to increase the uh, s strength of your immune system. And so start small, keep going, just keep building. And if you need to talk to somebody, you want to talk to somebody, ask a few questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you can message us through here. You can uh, give us a call, go to our uh, website, whitecedar.com and whitecedarclinic.com. Sorry about that. Uh, and uh, just get out there, get started moving. If you need a little bit more help, needing to know the right exercises to do, give us a call. We get the people to help you there. And hope you're having a great night. Be well.